what is going on guys, Luna here, welcome back to yet another MongoDB Java tutorial. Now in this episode we are going to be getting a table, um, so basically a collection from Mongo. Now I'm going to be using this so every time a player lo logs in to the server, it's going to make sure that they actually are in the collection or table. Uh, and then if not, it's going to put them in, but if they are, it's going to update their IGN to their UUID. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and put that all in this tutorial, mainly because this tutorial I just want to do getting a table, hence why in the title it is, it's called what it is. Um, so it's literally just one line of code. Now if you want to go ahead and copy the way that I've done this for listeners and stuff, registering listeners, then you can go ahead and do it. Uh, but I just need to go ahead and tell you guys that you can get the text tutorial on my website. Uh, just go click the link in the description and you will be able to basically copy it and then understand it probably much more thoroughly if you can't follow the tutorial. So to get a table, we need to do DV collection and then call it table. Now I'm going to call it table because yeah, I like referring it to a table, although it's not, um, but that's why I'm calling it table. Now you could call the uh, DB collection users because that's the collection that you're um, getting or you know the name of the collection that you're getting. So DB collection table is equal to core dot get plugin dot get mongo dot get database dot get collection. Now I just want to let you know that this database will be the database that we've registered our mongo with. For example, this one. So if your mongodb dot database um, is different where you set the database, you need to go ahead and use this database um, to get the collection from, otherwise it will try and get it from the authentication uh, database. So it's kind of complicated, but it's kind of not once you get over it. But anyway, you just want to go ahead and put the name of your collection in there, or your table in there, and then just import db collection. Now that is literally it. That is how you get a table. Now you might be thinking, oh I've got a warning. Uh, it's literally because we've not used it, so that's that. So next episode we will be doing a tutorial on searching for a player's UUID. So basically a search query. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a rating as it really does help me out. And I hope to see you next time. See you guys.